on camera. Like I had a homeboy that was on uh back in the day, like College Hill. Yeah. Yeah, episode where he yeah, came yeah. through the studio. We did some uh well, I used to work at a major studio. I think the Braxons came through with they reality show. I had a little I went I ain't had no speaking part, but you know, they just caught me in the background. I've been engineering for a minute though, man. Okay, well look, look let me let me ask you this then, like is you know, I don't want to like spill no, you know, like no secrets, but like, is loving hip hop real? Is it real? Like, do the I'll is the drama I, real? When I seen the Braxton joint, yeah, everything seemed real, but you could tell the producers in the background and whoever was part of the show, they was creating situations. So it was real reactions, but some of the situations are, when I say stage, I don't mean their reaction and the way they did shit. That shit wasn't fake. But yeah. Like some of the situations, they put them in those situations. So they really don't be beefing like that. Like I don't know. If they yeah, be, okay, they okay. probably so, do. So yeah, because so you saying they put them. They'll them. create a situation. They'll cause attention. They'll like, you know, from what I could tell. I can't say they do. When I was there, it just seemed like yo. It seemed like they kind of like trying to make it a situation so they can get into. Yeah, because I kind of be. They really yeah. get into it though. I think yeah. it should be real when they argue. You well, fuck, go get bad. Yeah. And then you get the camera. That shit just. It makes everything like, in my yeah, opinion, yeah. like ten times more escalated. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody kind of trying to, everybody, everybody don't want to look weak on the camera. Yeah, man. You know I'm saying? Watch, sometimes even when I do sessions, some people like, you know, they be get, you can tell they, the cameraman being there, they be kind of like, you know, shying away from the camera because they don't want. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. What yeah. I'm Damn. Okay. So, um, speaking on the engineering side, like, what does it take to really, um get great at it you know what I'm saying as far as like learning how to mix people vocals because you know everybody got everybody got different vocals so you know you have to mix yeah. everybody kind of stuff differently right I mean research you know what I'm saying research trial and error and honestly man my biggest problem was like so I went to school for it so like for a long time I had an ego like oh I know what I'm doing like I wouldn't listen to people like it could be an artist be saying like, oh, you should do this, that. And I'm like, nah, nigga, I'm the engineer. I, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. But then like, it took me to start working with, with like A-list artists and they telling you stuff and what they saying is actually has a valid point. And then it even took, it even took me seeing like an artist that I didn't think that was good, but I seen like an A-lister like praise something they did. And I was like, damn, my perspective is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, when you really think about it, it's all about, it's all subjective. Like, I might say something sound good, but then you might say something sound good, but who's wrong? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's just like with music. Like, some people like certain styles of music, and this person might not like that, but that don't mean that, you know, he's wrong. You know what I'm mean? saying? So it's, it's the same thing with mixing, you know, just like, you know, I always just listen to what somebody's telling you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of engineers, they be cocky because they think they are, you know, engineers are smart. So they be cocky. They don't like a motherfucker. Be like, hey, turn this up, turn it down. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like once you start, once you can get over that hump and you can listen to what artists telling you, you can really, you really, they end up challenging you. You know what I'm saying? Artists challenge you. They want you to give you a sound. They want some shit they ain't nobody else got or they want some shit somebody else got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody pull up auto-tune don't mean it's going to sound the same when I put it on there. So they might challenge you to make it sound like somebody else. So you got to be kind of open-minded to be like, even if you don't like that sound. That'd be the problem. A lot of engineers, they don't be liking certain shit. So when somebody be like, oh, yeah, I want to eat like this, they be like, oh. You know what I'm saying? But if you just open minded to like, all right, let me see how I can do it. I mean, I'm gonna accept your challenge. It, it gets it's so much easier, you know. Okay, so basically having an open mind can basically kind of um, it kind of can give you more give you more opportunities, right? If you oh, are more yeah, more yeah, more man. open minded. And don't nobody want to be in a session with an asshole, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially when you start fun with celebrities, bro. Like, they already got so much shit that they do that you don't even think about. Sometimes they. And, and even as an engineer, you might work 18, 20 hours, but they might have been working like 40 hours, two hours sleep, hours sleep, you know what I'm saying? So don't nobody want to be in a set. You know, come to the studio, this is like, this is their, their, their temple. This is where they come to meditate. This is where they come to release some of their most personal feelings. And they don't want nobody in there being a dick, giving them a hard time about some technical shit. That'd be the power. Engineers so technical sometimes, they just be like, no, but that's not musically correct but that's not and sometimes but that's not how you get that's not how you get greatness you get greatness by doing shit that's against the grain you know? yeah 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 exactly definitely definitely do things against the grain okay well um who's some of the guys that you engineer for uh, or or currently engineering man 
So I, I've engineered for Justin Bieber in the past. I engineered for Big Sean a few times. Um, recently, uh, Jeezy, last like year or so, I've been working with him. A um, couple independent guys. I know y'all from Texas. I don't know if y'all ever heard of Vander Grimm. I did a lot of his stuff. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot of folks, man. I did some stuff with Lil Mo a few, about a few years ago. I mean, a lot of independent artists, man. I, I like working with the independent artists, man. Why is that? Because, you know, it's, it's something about they have a hunger. A lot of them have a hunger. A, a lot of it is like they still learning, so sometimes they might stumble on something new. I mean, it's just a lot to learn, man, if you just look at it 